Sorry. Finishing. Ejaculation complete. What? What the f is wrong with you? Will you take me for ice cream? I'm hungry. Ice cream delicioso. Thanks. Mil gracias por las ositas. Mil gracias por las ositas. What? Okay, Will you send a galaxy? Will you send a galaxy? Kendall. What? Kendall. Don't make me pop you. <laughs> You're stop. funny. Stop. Will you get me Kendall, a Kendall, stop! What? What? <sighs> what? what I'm hungry. Kendall. Kendall. I'm hungry. Okay, can we talk? Feed me to shut up. I'm feeling Frenchies. No! <laughs> Chick-fil-A. <laughs> yum, 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 delicioso. Mmm, Polynesian sauce. Yum. <laughs> Feed me to shut up. Feed me to shut up. What? Okay. What? Hey, bro. Luke, got ya. <laughs> You're funny. Ori. Hey, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I have my whole feeling about the AI stuff that's going on in TikTok. Where people are acting like robots and other people are donating. I have my feeling on that, but this is fucking hilarious. I started off confused, but this, this, that is hilarious. Especially when she, I feel Chick fil A with Polynesian sauce. That's my wife. I, I think that might be black people in general, because I feel as though, like, black folks. Polynesian sauce is popping, but I feel as though, like, that's some black people shit. Most white folks are, I, I don't know. Let me not make this a race thing, but let me ask y'all a question, right? Black folks out here in, in uh, the internet world, when you go to Chick-fil-A, do you get Chick-fil-A sauce or do you get Polynesian sauce? Now, I know I have some white folks that subscribe to my channel, too. So, white folks, do you get Polynesian sauce or do you get Chick-fil-A sauce? Okay? Um... I ain't going to ask about the other sauces because I feel as though if you go to Chick-fil-A and you get the, the buffalo wild wings, the, the buffalo sauce, you a serial killer. That's just how I feel, okay? It's either you getting Chick-fil-A sauce or you getting Polynesian. I just want to know what y'all get. As an entrepreneur, yep. how much do you make annually? Why me? Mm -hmm. I make between 500 and a million dollars. What do you consider a high value man then? How do I describe this? Money is not, I'm not looking at an actual range. I'm looking at value as far as are they going to be there for me emotionally? Are they going to be there for me and really care about me, care about my needs, care about me when I'm having a bad day? Money comes and goes, right? Who's going to be there for you and, and be on your... So you're, you're totally cool being the breadwinner? No. No? I, I, the person that I'm with, I feel that we're going to have the same value. We're going to be on the same playing field. We're going... Yeah, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. You... You just contradicted what you said at the beginning. Because you said you wasn't really caring about money. You was, you wanted somebody who would be there for you that with emotions and all that. Which means that you was, you were okay being the breadwinner, but now you're saying... You see what, what kind of confused... <sighs> ...to be striving for the same goals. You don't think it would make sense for you to date a guy who was making... 100k if he has if he's going places in life sure yeah i hope that's on his cap do you think a guy who was in your position would be open to dating a girl who was making 100 or even 50 absolutely yes yeah so why is it okay for you to date up but not down because i don't make 100k yo fellas fellas now ladies i know some of y'all might get upset at me or saying this, but fellas, whatever you do, be the breadwinner of your family. Be the breadwinner in that household. Um, as stupid as it sounds, and I know some ladies say, it don't matter, it don't matter. You have to understand that the circle, this is the best way to explain it, right? Let's say your woman makes Three hundred thousand, four hundred thousand dollars a year. Okay, the people that she's gonna be around, her colleagues, are gonna be in that same range, which means that the conversation that they're gonna have is gonna be about things that people who make four hundred thousand, three hundred thousand can afford, and they can do. And some women may not want to admit it, but guess what? They get influenced by that. So now she's going to come back home to you 
and you're not making that much money, and you can't afford to take on those type of trips, and she's going to look at you funny, especially if she paid for them trips. Now, granted, she can't afford to, but as a woman, deep down, she's not going to feel as though she's supposed to. You get where I'm going? Now, let me give y'all a closer example as to what I'm saying. My wife is an esthetician. My wife makes good money. You know, probably now I make I make a lot more money than her now. But at one point in time, she was the breadwinner in our family. And the clients that she had were very wealthy clients. Okay? Very wealthy clients. It's people that y'all see on TV right now that are her clients. Right? And she'll come back and tell me certain stories and certain things that these dudes may be doing for their wives or certain things that these wives experienced from their husbands. Now, mind you not, these people are, some are millionaires, some are hundred thousandaires, okay? At the time, I was probably bringing in about $60,000 a year, and she was bringing in a little bit more than that. And I can't afford to do none of that shit. And when I tell her she's been influenced by the conversations that she's having with her clients, she looking at me like I was crazy. And a lot of things transpired, you know, that I felt as those influenced by them conversations with her clients. And that shit was causing a lot of problems in our relationship, my nigga. Problems to the point where, and I'm not proud of this, but I'm, I'm gonna admit it. Because at the end of the day, I'm all about telling the truth. Problems to where, like, I, re I read my wife's diary, bro. And, like, the shit she was saying, based on our financial situation, it hurt my feelings. This shit hurt my feelings, bro. Now, I'm good. As far as, you know, money-wise, I'm straight, bro. Like, YouTube, the job I have, you know, affiliations with certain companies, I'm, I'm Gucci. And, like... This might sound like some foul shit, but it ain't foul. It's the truth. This some truthful shit, bro. It's new issues popping up. I'm going down a road that I might not be able to come back from. But all I'm going to say, bro, is is uh, be the breadwinner in your family, bro. You know, um, you might love a woman because men we do love. And women love too, but I don't think women love as hard as men love. Trust me. Um, at the end of the day, a woman wants to be protected. She wants to feel protected. She wants to feel safe. And if she's around men that she feel are better suitable than you, it becomes a problem. And usually it's financial-wise. Women do things that they want, and they're more about wants and men are more about needs, okay? And if she's around niggas that can provide a lot of the things that she wants, that's not a good look for you. That's not. It's not going to be good for you.